Hello. Welcome back to another episode of FetCraft. We're starting from the main screen tonight because I wanted to, I've never seen this tagline before, which is this text is hard to read if you play the game at default resolution, but at 1080p it's fine. And I'm at almost 1080p when I'm playing the game. I upscale it for the video. Uh, so it is a 1080p on YouTube, but I can barely read it, and I had to look at it a couple times to get it. So, yeah, I just wanted to start the game on that screen tonight so you could see that. Jen and Julie are here. Say hello. Oh. Hello, we're here. Hi. While the game starts, I'm going to add a little dew to my frosty beverage. Oh, look. I'm at the crafting terminal as usual. Always at the crafting terminal with you. You are a crafty one. Mm. So let's go see uh, the thing I did. The thing that you did. You are in the game, right, Julie? Oh, let me. Let me. Oh, Julie's still let there. me turn this. Out. That's all right. She can see it later. Little little music, but not too much. A little sound, but not too much. Ah, lovely C814 or whatever his name is. So we're going to see the uh, the encapsulation out here of the. Oh, and Julie hasn't seen the waterfall either. Grass still didn't grow down there. There's something wrong with that dirt. I wonder if it's the dirt. Oh, look what's up here. The whole time I built this, there wasn't one of these. But now there's a king slime. Ooh, I want to get it. There, get it. There's one way in. Come here. I was wondering how to get in. There's a little hole here you have to fly up into. Um, you see where my jets are? Uh-huh. Eh. There he is. Come on. Come quick before he attacks me. Oh, I don't even have a sword in my hotbar? How is that possible? Alright. Come here, buddy. King Slimer. Oh, don't get hit by him. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, waterfall. Well, it only takes... Julie, you can, you can go behind it, too. Like, go here. Uh, Jen, you can mess around here. <gasps> Did you see it? Yeah, okay, cool. That's cool. I'm coming down. Over here? I'm coming down the hard way. Oh, crap. No, better not. Over here? Yeah, you can go behind it. The, the waterfall, yeah. And it's not glassy. It's just the, you know, just the waterfall. Cool, cool. I was thinking of giving a little curve to the road. Which is going to kind of be difficult. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I was trying to work out a curve that kind of fit the shoreline. But that doesn't look that good. I need to fix it up. Julie, come here. Come down to the bottom. Okay. There's a little hole here. Oh, I forgot to show you. Sorry. You see, pick up from him? you see, look up, slime look up, Julie. Um, Just look for my rainbow. Oh, rainbow. And come up through this hole to get in. For now, I'll have a different way to get in, but that was just why I was, you know, doing stuff in here. I live here now. But the idea is that you'd be looking at this from the outside anyways. No, there's a hole. The hole's right here. Whoop. The idea is there'd be two towers on either side, and you come up, you'd use the elevator, get up the towers, and kind of walk around and look at the slimes in their natural habitat or something. And then maybe there'd be like a stairway where you could get right up on top of this thing and look down at the slimes through the glass. I'm going to replace this dirt. See nah, it's fine because we're going to dig up most of it in our building anyway, so. If some's still exposed once we're done putting stuff down, then we'll deal oh, okay. we'll deal with that when the time comes. I think. I see what you're saying. Look at all this flatness. You walk 
in front of me. That's <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you, Julie. What? Something I got from Pink Slime last night. Whoa, what the heck? Two hundred fifty Pink Slime. Just don't use them on me. Uh. What? What is that though? You throw them. Go, go find this cow over here. Shuriken are throwing stars. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. Oh, God. You gotta get closer. That's kind of hard. There you go. You can pick them up, though, if they don't hit something. Oh, see, he runs away. Oh, poor cow. <laughs> Murdered. That's cool. Give it to me. Thanks. Give me to me, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. <laughs> don't. No. No. That's. Alright, this little pieces of dirt up here are bothering me. I was gonna I was gonna leave them as extra little something cool that was here. Oh, they do have snow on top though. I'll leave them. I'll leave them, jeez. Oh, there's more over here too. This is dinner bone dinner bone glitches. Hey! Fix your game, dinner bone. It looks that dome thing looks cool from far away. Okay, so come here. Uh, come down below the dome here. Below the cinder dome? Yeah. Cool. Be careful with the use and the falling with your jetpack thing because now that you have lots of hearts, you can far you you can fall from above cloud height and it won't turn on that safety feature and you'll smack the ground and lose most of your hearts because it like calculates to know that you have Extra oh. hearts, yeah. Oh, so is that how? Okay. Where are you guys? I'm. Um, We're under the. I'm up down. The, I'm under, down. no, on the ground, on the ground. Come here. <laughs> okay. We're still under. There's okay, there's the, the building oh. guide. Okay. Building guide. And then you put a uh, redstone torch next to yeah. it. Bam. All right, and you just put blocks where these little white blocks are, and they're not. It's not disappearing for you, right? Oh, no, it doesn't disappear. Okay. It might have just been 164. Now, and if you click on top, it changes, like... Oh, that changed. Uh, if you shift-click on top, it changes what it is. This is a cylinder. Uh -huh. See? And then the yeah. shift, if you shift-click again, this is a cuboid. Box. This is basically just a box. What I don't know why you need a guide to build a box, but okay. This is a dome, which is different oh. different than a sphere. This is a triangle, so fly up and look down. You see, it's a triangle, and you could just extend the triangle up if you wanted to. Okay. Oh God, damn it! Here's a pentagon. That's a derpy pentagon. Well, it's small. Here's a. Uh... Oh, I changed the size. Here's a uh, hexagon. Okay. And there's an octagon, and then it'll go back to sphere. And now if you click on one side, right click on one side, I'm decreasing it by clicking on this side. So let me click on this side. I'm increasing it in one direction though. So if you fly out here and look now, it's elongated in that one direction. Cool. So you can make different shapes. And if you click it on this side, oh, that's decreasing it. So this will increase it in the other direction. And you can make it back into a kind of sphere shape again. Okay, See? Cool. Oh. Okay, so. It's super dumb. And then, and then, if you do the shapes, let's go. Oh. Let's see. The triangle is much bigger now. And you can make the triangle go in that direction. In that direction. See now? And then shift shift right click on top of it. There, now you got a pentagon. Fly up and you see the pentagon looks a lot less derpy now. Yeah, absolutely. Now that you have more size to it. Oh, we should totally do a pentagon. Now shift left click again and you get the hexagon. And now it looks like a six sided Better. thing, yeah. Yeah. And then one more will do, give you an octagon. Which still looks a little derpy, but yeah, it's, it's hard to do an octagon with Minecraft. It's just like it's hard to do a circle because an octagon's big. There's a sphere, right? That 
looks really cool. Like Epcot Center. Now here's a now. now here's the thing. Uh, you have half a sphere. Now wait, let's do this. All right. Oh, does somebody have some blocks? Some uh, um, dirt? Make a dirt pillar, like, I don't know, 20 up. I want to do it. Go ahead, kiddo. From that dirt block there. Or I guess it doesn't matter where you do it. But. And then when you get up a ways, make, one, make it two by two at the top so I can, there's room to put the thing and the torch. That should be good. Okay. Put one more off to the side. It either it doesn't matter where you put it, just any side. There, that's good. Now we'll put watch out. Oh god. We'll put that <laughs> down and we'll put a torch down. And see. <laughs> now you can get a full sphere. No. Oh. Yeah, and we can of course chain. Oh. We're fine. Calm down. And you can do yes. cool things like that. Can it protect us from the lightning? Nope. Until you build something. I've never been struck by lightning. We can be protected by the lightning up here. I'm coming back so we can sleep. Holy crap! <laughs> Fix your game, dinner bone. Derpin. Oh, and I learned if a pig gets shot with a lightning bolt, it turns into a pig. That's kind of scary. Yay! And it's bright and sunny again. Yay, yay, yay! And I'm a chef and I'm a today. Okay, so let's go back. Was that expensive to make? No, yeah. you can make I another one. Right, I'm gonna make one. Or you could just have the one I have here too, and I'll make another one if I here. Come here. Wait, I'll just go drop it on the ground here. Blue, and there's a torch to go with it. Just and then you just place the blocks where the white blocks are. Yeah, just get some crap, get some dirt blocks and place them, and you'll see. You can move easily. Yeah. Yeah, it goes faster with a pick. Oh, oh, Jen was, uh, uh let oh, mommy. I'm sorry, I'll put it back. Well, it's, okay. yeah. Put it, put, let, I just let, to see how it works. Let mommy, let mommy mess with it for a minute, Julie. Okay. Let me out first. <laughs> now, when you got here, you know, like, say you were doing this with glass block, you'd use a dirt block to get you to the next level. Builder's Guide or Building Guide, something like that. I think it's a, it's an open blocks thing or extra utilities, one of the two. I always forget. Building Guide, Glass, and Torch. Okay. So, yeah, that's how I built that the thing around the slime island up there. Oh, 
Yeah, I was thinking of having the road curve here because I would want the bridge to go over the the thinnest part of this river, like any normal engineer would do. They wouldn't build it across the thickest part of the river. They'd build it across the narrowest part of the river. Right. Work. Thanks. Julie, which one of these roads over here do you like the best? Um... This one here that I'm by would be filled in with gray blocks in the middle. I just ran out of them. Okay. And the. One I really... Go ahead. The one I really like is this one. This one with the white, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't think those are going to be big enough. Yeah, but also with the stone, I don't think that's going to look modern enough either. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. But these aren't, these, this won't really necessarily fit into our build model, I guess. What? We can make them different sheets. No, I know. Not looking at that. Well, I guess we could make some of the buildings. Mm-hmm. Like you, you don't make a building that thing. You make a feature of the building that thing. Like, say, a city, like I was saying, a city hall or someplace that was like a, you make a capital building. It's mostly square, but then has a dome on it. And you raise the dome up like I showed you with, you know, the, oh, okay. you pillar up and you put the dome where you want it on top of your square building or rectangular building. Don't, you don't have to be confined by the fact that that thing's sitting on the ground now. That thing can sit at any height and be anywhere you want it to be. Which road did you like, Julie? The one with the white and the gray. This This one, right? This one here. We, I don't know which one you like, and I like it. Jen and I didn't like that one too much. We like this one here with the obsidian in the gray, and then then well, I really like my intersection here. This this road looks more like a modern road, but it is it's I just wide. Wish the wool didn't look like wool. This isn't wool. Well, all the other stripes, yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like painted, like if you had like reflective light. If you've seen the the paint on roads today, it has. You know, that the reflecting material in it, so it looks thick and it doesn't, you know, it looks kind of like that, actually. What about this over here, this, um... That's, that's yellow stained uh, clay. That's not bad either. Uh, I was going to go with that, but then, then we need to come up with a solution for the white stripe. You don't think the quartz would look nice? Well, no, you I don't. I, we we almost you screamed at each other last night about it because you couldn't <laughs> see the fact that there was a line in between the two things and the pattern is not connected. Quartz looks great for like a sidewalk or something, but it doesn't look good, in my opinion, for a line that's supposed to be painted. Okay, so. Okay, I think this would look better if you um, made these not solid lines, maybe. Mm, yeah, you mean the like yellow maybe? the thing is that you know a solid yellow line denotes no passing, whereas a broken yellow line denotes passing allowed. And like in the country, they might be broken yellow lines. Like as we get away from the city, but in the city, they should be probably solid yellow lines because you never see broken yellow lines in the middle of a city, do you? Yeah. No. Sometimes not, you have solid lines as if. You're not allowed, yeah, which is always in a city. Not all, all the roads have broken lines. 
broken lines, except for in, like, coming up towards intersections. And, well, I mean, yeah, they're all broken lines. If there are yellow lines, and they would be normally double yellow lines, but that would take up an extra block. And actually, that would take up two extra blocks, because you have to put a gray in between them. Let's pretend that these are solid, these are double yellow lines. When you have solid double yellow lines, that means no passing. And any place in the city that doesn't have a median that's using double, it's using yellow lines has solid double lines because you're not allowed to pass in a city. Not, not across the lanes of traffic. In the country, yes. Like when you're out not by the city oh, I see then what you're saying these are just one way street. these are just two way streets okay. right right cars would be going right on the right side and the, you know one way on one yeah. side and one way on the other side yeah uh -huh. okay so that is right it's just i don't know it'll look better once the all of the road is put down maybe yeah tell me which one you guys really like and we can go with that one well, I mean, we're flying over the one that I like. I don't know that Mommy likes it too much, but. Well, make up your minds and pick it, and I'll go with it too, so. Let's see. Not I kind of like the way that the charcoal looked. Or not charcoal, but the coal, because it looks more like asphalt, but. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the darkness of those, but they're almost too black. I know. Like, it's like a just a freshly paved road, whereas this looks like a road that's been worn a little bit. Yeah, like a concrete road, almost. Or like a asphalt road that was laid like a year or two ago, and it starts to get gray, you know? Yeah. I like the obsidian more. Than we can do side streets that wind away from the main thoroughfares in that. And we can do alleys. Oh, there's this stuff called... Hold on a second. Alleyway. Let me show you. Um... Hold on. Look at this. This stuff's pretty cool, too. Here. Come over here by this uh, obsidian thing here. Okay. This is Gravel Road. <gasps> I love that. Okay. That's what I want for the sidewalks. <laughs> and then if you, like, as you attach it, the, connect, the textures connect. And it doesn't make the gravel sound either, which is great. It makes a stony sound when you walk on it. That'd be great for, like, alleys and stuff. That is pretty cool. I mean, that'd almost be good for the main road, but... I, that was the first one that I actually tried. I mean, we can dig it down here. Let's do this. Helps to have it, maybe... Holy crap, this pick is healthy. <laughs> okay, so there's that, and it could be have some accoutrements. I don't know, you know. But that's what it looks like laid in the ground. And then, like, if this was, like, maybe an alleyway, you'd have buildings right on either side of it. Like, you know, right next to it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. It would definitely be good for alleys. Because the color blend, would blend nicely with these, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think it would be that great for a road service. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so you have, uh, I should have just done it over here. And with this here, you don't have to worry about lines or anything like that because there are no lines generally in alleys. Well, I don't have enough of it to do this, but that's all right. Well, crap. Shit. Well, you'd have, you know, an alley extending like out. A off. private drive. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just get this shit up. Holy crap, that stuff breaks really easily. Hmm. 
you know, and then the sidewalk. Then, like, the sidewalk would extend over here, and yeah, there'd be a little building here, you know, and then another building right here. And the sidewalk would keep going this way, and the road would keep going this way. And this would just be like a little alley that goes between the buildings and like maybe some more buildings. Like you have another one over here. Well, I was off by a one there, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. That would be a good way to make our, our city dense. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I was thinking about just having this main thoroughfare. It's going to be a bitch to have it curve and shit, but have it follow the river line over here. Like the, uh, like the, the, what you call it in New York that follows the river, have it kind of roughly follow along the river and then all the other smaller roads branch off of it. And then maybe one other and then have it curve back here this way and then go back here into this big open area right down the middle of this area here. Cause we have a lot of building area. I mean, we're not going to have any problem with making this look like a city. There's a lot of space, even with these big fat roads that I, I have. I mean, okay, so, but honestly, I think that we should make just the main strip right here through the middle. And then, yes, we can have a meandering uh, scenic route. Uh, yeah. A smaller road, maybe? I, I, yeah. I, 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 th I thought that initially, too. And then I thought, well, no, in a place like New York City the major highway is the one that goes right along the river and the meandering smaller roads are the ones that go through the city. Not meandering, but the straight, these little smaller sections would be the ones that went through the city. Which is get it, which would give us even more room for building is what I was getting at. The reason why I even thought of that. I mean, yeah. Yes, yeah. I have to put in, um, the only reason I would be against doing that is because curving roads is not easy. Yeah, I don't think it would look as good. I mean, it might, I just, it's hard to vision because that's a lot of curving. Mm-hmm. Everything thing needs cinnamon. Oh my God. So if we come, okay, so you're talking about come along the river over here and then come back around and then back here by like this, where this little stone pad back here is. But I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, this is not something I'm sold on or even 50% good with. It was just an idea. We could still just have one major thoroughfare that goes right down the middle, um, and then well, have the little roads off the side. That goes down the middle, because it's going to be easier to branch off side streets. I I think, and and for neighborhoods and for buildings and things like that. Well, you don't need a road that goes down the middle to do that, though. Look, come here, where are you? No, I know, but to fill in the space in the middle. Well, no, I understand. But would there be side roads for that? Here, so okay, come here. Follow, follow me. Let's say the main road, the the thicker road, went in this direction like this, and then maybe even made like a ninety degree turn here, or almost a ninety degree turn, and maybe another one right here, and they kind of came down here. And went down to like where the almost to where the quarries are, but not quite, like right about here, and then went this direction. All right, and then from off of this would be those smaller roads going this way. There'd be one here, and then maybe one a buildings with the way over here, and then crossing those in the parallel direction. There'd be, you know, a couple roads there. So you'd make city blocks. You'd still have city blocks. It'd be blocked off like DC is blocked off, except you'd have this one road that just followed the river. Sort of. I'm coming over there right now to situate everything out. Okay? <laughs> that, at least at least that's that's more like what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm 
seven. Where are you guys? I'm coming to shoot you. <laughs> At least we've agreed upon the road design. We, that's fine. I wasn't, I was nowhere near here when we were agreeing, so not all of us have, <laughs> and I don't really care. All I want is for you guys to be happy, and I'll enjoy it too. So, but this road design, I think, is going to work the best. Where are you? I'm going to shoot you. Okay. But not so far you. We have to, oh. we do have to put some lines here in the middle of it, right? Yeah. Okay, so for the longer road, the main road, we will still have the three wide sidewalks on the side, right? Hold on. <laughs> here, Julie, come here. Well, we still have all this area over here as well. <laughs> oh, bullseyes! <laughs> uh. I'm going to kill myself and lose all this armor and good stuff you made me. <laughs> okay, we'll stop. Did Daddy get you? <laughs> oh my god, it's all on fire! It is. The city is burning down. It's like Chicago in some year where things burn down. What what were you saying now? No, shh, no singing. This is business here. What what are you talking about? Okay, so all right, so the main thoroughfare. Are you still wanting to put three wide sidewalks? So it's definitely going to be this wide, right? Well, it was four wide sidewalks, but yeah, I, I reduced that. Okay, so where where's the where's the beginning of the road going to be? Oh, it's there's no beginning or end. It'll I'll I'll start the road here. It's gonna go off into the trees there somewhere, okay. but the road's gonna so, go this way. Are we gonna have it? It is gonna have to curve. It is gonna have to curve here though, because this water is kind of in the way and. Cover it up. Okay. Yeah, I, I have thought about that too, but I like to. All right, so we want to keep one, two, three from the four from the water. So that's that one. So. Right. No, no, we don't have to do the keeping four from the water thing. This is where I've set out. Like, it can, the the sidewalk can go right up to the water, and then we can have stairs that go down to the little path that you walk. So the road can be right up almost to the water. Alright, so you said there were 21 wide, right? 17 wide. 17 wide. Okay, so that's how wide it's going to be when you turn it. Yeah, with sidewalk, though. Yes, and so then it's going to come up here, and so we have to make sure that it's we've got 17 from uh, Well, yeah, that's not hard. I can do all of this. It's just the the building is the easy part, really, in my opinion. The Deciding what we want to do with it is the... No, Well, maybe not quite that close to the water, because, look, if you start here, Jen, hold on. If you start here, you won't have a straight run. If you start right about here, no. right here, then you'll have a straight run. You, you go one more, one, yeah, right there, yeah. And oh, you actually uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you could come back to here where I am because the water edge is right here. So like right on that block, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can line it up with that other block and get pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact because we're not building it like right here. Right there. So well, that's like 17. So, so that's your turn. Oh, so that. You're going to go from there. Were these not at 17? Because that one's not quite matched up, it looks like. Oh, I might be one off. I covered the grass so quickly. Just use my tape measure. I don't have it on me. 17's right. Oh, did it crash? From all the wrong. 17's there. Alright, so then it comes here. <clears throat> and this one, here. this one's off by one, two, one as well. It should be here. No, it should be here. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, And then, well, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. And so the road will go. On the this way. It'll work. Yeah. Jesus. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. <laughs> so here's the turn here. That's sidewalk to sidewalk. And then we'd have it turn, I don't know, let me see where we are down here. Because we want a little space on either side here. Uh, we'll have... Uh, so here. What are you guys doing? Come on. Alright, so, oh, hold on, so let me put these down. Let me steal this one at least. There we Now we're going to have these roads connect from our base to here? Eventually, yep. Yeah. Okay. It'll be the country road. We can have a subway from our base to here, then. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. These should match up with that one. There we go. So there you go. And then every so often you'd have, what, they're 11 wide or uh, minus? Am mm -hmm. I really one off on every one of these? I might be off. It's fine. You get the idea. Where This is not permanent. This is just a rough out to picture now come way up here and you can see the road where it would go okay that's the main road and then off of it you would have like every so often you would have like uh you know another smaller smaller roads coming off of it in this direction and then crossing them and then i okay so this one was okay so it was that Oh, we didn't start it from here, though, did we? Darn it. What? Uh, we didn't count it out. Count what out? Yeah, what? No, so it's all just going to come here. We can have little, we're shooting out little lines here. And then, so then, like, the town square needs to go, oh, the pillar's going to go there. So that's going to be our focal point. Okay, all right. 
That'll work. All right. Say, I have these visions in my head already. I know it's going to work. I'm awesome. <laughs> on, on that note, on that note, we have been recording for quite some time. This is a long episode, and so I bid you all a fair adieu, and thank you for taking part in city planning. And at least now we're kind of. Uh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, I, we suck. We blow. There we go. Oh, oh, that's good. Say bye-bye with dirt in your hand. <laughs>